All right, how's it going, folks? Seth here. This is your walking monologue for the day. Um, just trying to finish up a novel for class tomorrow. It's um, for whose names are unknown. It's like the Grapes of Wrath. I've never read Grapes of Wrath, so but they were written at the same time. That's not important. It's almost done, and uh, I don't have really anything fun to say about that yet. It's kind of a drag. It's really bringing me down. But uh, uh, good news is the Pens won yesterday, so that was exciting. Back-to-back -back champions. Hasn't been done since 97-98. Which is funny because that was the Red Wings. And the last time the Penguins had, went back-to-back -back Stanley Cup um, finals, it was against the Red Wings. So really it's just been for the past... That's gross, sorry. Uh, for the past like 20 years, there's only really two teams that have threatened to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. And that's the Red Wings and Penguins. And the Penguins managed to do it because we're awesome. So, what can I say? As you can tell, I'm ecstatic. Um, I was going to film a garden report earlier, but it was super noisy. So, if I can film one, I will put it in right here. Time has come. I am going to attempt to save this little plant. I'm going to transport him into a new pot. His uh, brothers and sisters over here are just uh, dominating life, it seems. So we're going, to trans we're going to transplant him and see if we can get him healthy. Let's see what we can do here, folks. It's not exactly a digging tool, but I need to get to the root. Putting it in this one. It's got deep roots. For such a little guy. Don't even know if this is gonna work. Right now I'm using a screwdriver to try and dig this thing out. This is how sophisticated this operation is, folks. Don't tell me his roots go all the way to the bottom. Okay, okay, that was a little gruesome. There was definitely some damage being done, but I had to do it. Hopefully we can save the little guy. Just turn this. So, anyways, he's in here now. Right, so some of these guys are doing good, some of them are not. I figure it's just because of the space and, oh. Uh, I'll figure that out, but surprise, surprise, I transplanted, which I guess I posted earlier. We'll see how I edit this thing. But um, this is the pot I put the random thing in, and I watered it, trying to get to stay alive. And all of a sudden, the things that I thought had been dead forever decided to magically appear. So, cool, I guess. Grass is kind of doing all right. I need to trim it. I need to clean it out a little bit, make sure it's getting nice and watered more. I need to water the grass more than other stuff. Oh, this little guy's doing good. Um, some of these guys are doing good, some of them are struggling. Uh, I guess Big Boy here is taking up all the glory. Moss. I think it needs a little bit more or less sun. I'm gonna look it up. But uh, it's doing alright. I gotta work out a little bit more. I have to rehabilitate my sunflowers a little bit. But um, they're still kind of holding on. And I want them even opened up a little bit. So yay! But I don't want to get too close. So I overwatered and then underwatered this thing. I am really bad at this, but I'm going to try and bring it back to life. So we shall see. Because I was really excited about these guys, but I'm having a hard time getting the watering. Here's the flower that Dunkle broke. So shout out to Dunks. Thanks for breaking my stem. Or, I mean, it was bent on it, then I cut it off because it's dying. It smells real nice though. So I don't know, maybe I'll take it inside and smash it for good luck. But uh, this is it. I put it in its new little pot. 
and it was not a good transfer. Hopefully it survives the trauma. These little guys are having trouble getting the watering down with these ones too, but they're looking better than the brass buttons. So this little guy, uh, it's looking nice and fine. I should probably get him a, a bigger pot sooner or later. Um, this cactus is looking all right. I don't know if that thing's alive. Um, those are just, you know, all right. But uh, this little guy, just, I don't know. He just, he just seems to be the hardiest of the bunch. Still going good. So we'll continue to just water him and keep him happy. Well, isn't that fancy? The boy is doing a silly little talking again. This is what I think of that. All right, damn dog. Oh, he's taking the camera. It's all good. This isn't gonna work. I gotta fix this. What did I do? What did I do here? What the hell did I do with this freaking thing? What, what even? How did I? Why is this wrap like this? Who does this? I do, apparently. <laughs> Someone send help. This is gonna be the entire video. Can I help you? I'm in the middle of a uh, important thing. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> uh, I would be. Monday? Yeah, it is Monday. I would be doing it, but I seem to have gotten my mic thing all tangled up for some damn reason. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Like, what did I do? Why is this like this? W freaking. Let me do it. No, I could freaking figure this crap out by myself. I made it worse because now it's going into meltdown mode. Which is what everyone wants to see, is my freaking face. It's the money maker. Yeah. How are your plans doing? Uh, well, you can wait until the garden report, which is already filmed, to understand that my, how awesome my garden is struggling. I saw you go out there. Oh yeah, you saw me go out there? You're being real helpful. You're being real helpful right now. <laughs> Fix this. <laughs> Don't say anything. I'm start my money. Be the producer and have to shut the door so I can talk loud. Okay. <clears throat> Screw it. I'm going. All right. So here we go. Monday monologue. Pens one. Woo. I'm wearing my old ass Chris Kunitz jersey. Um, okay. So now that the pens have won the cup, there's a situation I hate that I don't want to occur or happen. And that is... Shut up. <laughs> Flurry leaving the penguins. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> don't talk. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this damn camera. I don't know what's happening. Everything's crooked and sideways. It doesn't matter. Okay. Flurry has been my favorite player. On the pens. Him and Chris Coots have basically been my favorite players for ever. Um, so, a little history. Uh, Fleury was drafted, I think, 2004, which is a year before Crosby and everyone was uh, drafted. He started the pens rebuild to get to the three Stanley Cups that they've won since 2009. Um, and, geez, when Fleury got drafted, the Penguins were awful. They were terrible, terrible. They were garbage. And... Uh, he's been there the whole way from them winning the cup, struggling to get back into that dynastic form that people thought the Penguins were going to be. They thought Penguins were going to just roll through playoffs, you know, win a cup every other year. Matt Murray's a good goaltender. He's younger, and now it seems like it's his time to take over in Pittsburgh, which is really sad for me because Fleury once again proved that he could do really well in the playoffs. He was phenomenal, and I wish he had been there to finish it all. But when I first started watching hockey, you know, everyone was always like, Fleury this, Fleury that, oh, he's struggling, blah, blah, blah. And at that point in my life, I was kind of struggling too. You know, school was hard. Um, when I just gotten out of a big relationship. So just, that's one of the things that... So it's just, 
It was hard. Uh, when I got into ho- hockey, it was one of those things that I kind of escaped to, into. Because I've been, since I think 2012, I've been watching hockey. Um, and it's been up and down for Flurry. And I always felt like, you know, things were going up and down for me. So I just I saw myself in Flurry. He was the guy I wanted to root for and succeed because I wanted to succeed. But we shall see what the future holds. Wherever he goes, I know he'll succeed. And I wish him all the best. I will be still watching him. Because I think he will always be one of my all-time favorite players. Um, but uh, enough with hockey. Have you guys ever had like a professor who's just like obscenely smart and it's kind of intimidating because he's got his big old brain and he's just like throwing out everything. He's just this just rolling ball of just smartness and intensity. My current uh, summer session employer, or employer, pff, professor, <laughs> is shut up. You're not allowed to make noise back there. He is a really smart guy. Uh, and sometimes it's bewildering. It's like, oh, I gotta write a paper for this guy. He's well, like an idiot. And uh, But he's actually very encouraging. Last session, um, I made some weird... I do this thing where I just make stupid like comments about stuff because it's funny to me. And I make weird connections like, oh, what if this was that, blah, blah, blah. I mean, a lot of people I'm sure who you know who do stuff like that. But usually it's like, um, usually it's to the frustration of whoever is leading the class or whatever. But um, I don't know. He took it in stride. He thought, oh, that's cool and blah, blah, blah. And he encouraged me. It's, it's fun to be encouraged. Even when you're old like me, you're an old student. You're just like, kind of want to get this thing through you want to grind out your last semesters finally earn that degree but uh, so thanks for that prof I appreciate it oh I've just been informed by my producer who shall be remain behind the scenes about the movie marathon we had uh, we watched all the Lord of the Rings movies because she wanted to. What else? Hold on. What else do we watch? Um, wasn't there a weird one? Joan, the Free State of Jones or something? We watched The Free State of Jones. I don't know what that movie was trying to be or what, but... He ran away from home. He ran away from home. He ran away from home. I don't need the mic anymore. It's sorry. It's too late. I passed it. If you can roll it up nice for me and fix it. I would appreciate it. Okay. Don't look at her. She's just ignore her. She's a big blog, by the way. But, uh, I don't know what that movie was trying to be. Um, but cool, I guess. For Matthew McConaughey. Um, what I, I'm trying to think. What do we watch? Major Pain. Mm. We watch Major Pain. That movie is so great. It's probably a terrible movie. I don't care. Um, I don't know. It's it okay. What it seems to me is like when like Mighty Ducks came out, and like The Sandlot, and all those like kids sports movies where you gather the team around and you gotta just go for it. You know, we're not gonna be losers anymore. I feel like it's one of those movies, except it's like an ROTC program. It's like a, a prep school. It's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. I recorded it on um, on the DVR. I just watched it again. It was great. But uh, that was basically it. It was good times for everybody. <laughs>